Our next guest makes extraordinary works of art out of something very unexpected. Bubble wrap. Check out this video of him in action. Bradley Hart is joining us on Skype from New York. Hey, Bradley. Hey. Hi, guys. This is really amazing what you're doing. How, how do you do this? Well, first of all, uh, I'm glad you guys think it's amazing. And thank you so much for having me on the show. This is really, really special. I'm quite humbled. Absolutely. Um, it, it's a long story, honestly, that I'm going to try to make very short. Um, so <laughs> it all began after six month experience with overzealous security guards telling patrons at museums not to touch art. Uh -huh. And then I had my first solo show in New York in 2009. And those two things culminated together that this leftover roll of bubble wrap sitting in my studio, I just had this aha moment where I actually wanted to play with the cultural trope on whether or not you should touch art or not. So they actually didn't begin as these injected paintings, but more an idea of should you touch art. Right. But bubble wrap being the material it is, it just, it lended. So I started doing some research and I found out the bubble wrap was originally meant to be wallpaper. Oh, wow. It just uh, cascaded into what it is today. Yeah. By the way, you have my favorite Magritte piece right over your right shoulder. I love that. That's my favorite piece right there. Incredible. Son of a man. Love One it. of my favorites as well. Love it so much. Yeah. I almost started wearing a bowler cap because of it, but I didn't. Tell us about the first <laughs> piece you created. Uh, the very first piece I created was a piece I call Insomnia. And it mm -hmm. literally is something you both probably are very familiar with because it's a video test pattern. Um, I call it insomnia, obviously, without dating myself, because it takes you back to the time before digital cable and when the TV went off the air and you'd hear this high-pitched sound yeah. and uh -huh. the national anthem and saying, that concludes broadcasting for the day, and that would be the symbol that came up. You use leftover material from your art to make new works of art, right? Yeah. So my studio is kind of like an ecosystem. Um, just like the injections and the impressions that I create through the process of making my, my original works, all the refuse, all the paint that drips onto the floor, uh -huh. my mixing jars, instead of cleaning them, I let everything dry. And I wow. peel them and I pick them and I collect them and then I repurpose them in a series of works I call wasted paint. Uh-huh. It's very much like like the artist Surratt where you can you get close to it and then you pull back and you see it's in a whole picture. How do you visualize what little tiny dots are gonna be when you come back and from a distance and look at the painting? Uh, that's a little bit of a secret, but I do employ a little Classified. bit of technology um, that I've created, um, a little piece of custom software that allows me to work on the computer first, uh -huh. so I don't have to be injecting, standing back 15 feet, walking <laughs> yeah. back. Which, by the way, when I first started, is what I did. Right. Yeah. Literally. Do you have piece, right. like one piece that is the most meaningful to you? I think the bride. A, it deals with, uh, for me, the idea of oh, personal yeah. memories, which is what we use bubble wrap to do is protect things that are important to us. Yeah. And for uh -huh. me, digital photography. And in that moment, that was the moment I said I do to my beautiful wife. I love, I, I love talking to you. Einstein, obviously, was very excited to be here. <laughs> Thank you, Bradley Hart.